Hey guys and dolls, today I'm getting ready for a Breakfast at Tiffany's inspired photo shoot and I'm going to take you through what I do from when I wake up to walking out the door so please do let me know if you like this kind of video with a comment below and a thumbs up and hope you enjoy. So I'm the kind of person who likes to shower at night time rather than in the mornings. I know lots of people do it the other way around but I am a night owl big time. So upon waking, having showered the night before, I keep my skincare routine light with a quick wash using the Body Shop Tea Tree Foaming Cleanser and then I pat that dry. My skincare routine at night time is a lot more kind of in depth so let me know if you would like me to do an updated skincare routine because things have changed quite a lot since my last one. And loads of have seemed to notice the huge improvement in my skin from recent videos. I'll always follow this up with some moisturiser to give my makeup something to hold on to. Blade and gorgeous! Also a little bit of primer as I'll need the makeup to stay in place all day long. Does anyone else put their makeup onto the palms of their hands? Please let me know so I don't feel like an alien. From talking to a lot of friends of mine who are beauty bloggers and vloggers here on YouTube, um, the general consensus was that this foundation would be a great one to go with, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And this has been even my mom's holy grail foundation for years and years, and a lot of people just swear by it. And I have to admit, my first impressions of it are overwhelmingly positive. As you might be able to tell, this is slightly too dark for my natural skin tone, but I have found out from a subscriber, and thanks a lot to the subscriber who told me this, that Estee Lauder are bringing back their palest shade for all us palies. It gives amazing coverage and I just really like the texture and the finish. I'm applying it here with a damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge and I have a whole review video of this sponge which I'll link in the description box. Over the Estee Lauder I'm applying a thin layer of a matte mineral foundation. So after using that I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer under my eyes to get rid of them bags and uh, yeah I really like this as well but also let me know if you'd like me to do one of my high street versus drugstore comparison videos with this and with the Collection 2000 concealer because I'm a huge fan of that as well and I'd like to kind of you know test them out against each other and start a battle of concealers. After that I'm applying my favourite blush from MAC Well Dressed to my cheeks as so. Have to be a little more heavy handed on the colour because of the photography and the camera. And then I'm using Cool Kiss by Mineral Hygienics which is a really natural bronzer, very few ingredients in this and I love this bronzer, it's one of the most natural ones I've tried in quite a while and right now I prefer it to Hula by Benefit and to the Honey Bronzer from the Body Shop even, it's just really beautiful and really natural and I'm applying that to the parts of my face where the sunlight would usually hit. It just gives you that kind of nice coloured summery look. And I find this works quite well to contour my cheekbones as well but I just then buff it out with my Kabuki brush that I applied my mineral foundation with. I love that word, kabuki. Kabuki! And then setting that with a little bit of the Vichy setting powder in just in the T-zone area. And then for my lips, I'm keeping it quite nude and natural and rosy. I'm using a lipstick by MAC and a lip liner by NYX. I'll leave the names of these in the description box along with all the names of all the products from this video. I love the combination of these two together and also have to apply my cherry lip balm from Oriflame which I love right now. I'm sure you already know that I love cherries. I'm sure you all know how much I adore Naked 3 by Urban Decay as you can make an ridiculous amount of looks. And to apply those shadows I'll be using a shading brush by Sigma and a blending brush by Black Canvas Cosmetics which I got from the makeup chair from YouTube at the Irish Beauty Show. And following that up with a liquid liner by Catrice and then the mascara and the eyelash curler from the body shop that I got in the free gift recently which you saw in my last haul video. For the eyebrows I'll be filling them in with the Fuchsia Brow Kit which I love. It's a powder and wax combo, very similar to a lot of brow kits out there but I'll leave Fuchsia's website down below because they ship worldwide and they're an Irish brand. And then going over that with the Ico Brow Gel and I'm so new to brow gels but I love them! 
So for my eyes, for this photo shoot, I want to open them up and have them look really, really big. I don't want too much shimmer, so I'm keeping this mostly matte with the shades from the Naked 3 palette. Strange as the highlight, Limit on my lid, a mixture of Nooner and Liar to cut my crease, and then I'm taking a little bit of Factory along my lower lash line, and then a little on the outer third of my eyeball lid, because that's the easiest way to describe it. And it is time, people, to get them brows on. I feel so strange without my eyebrows filled in, and I really think that they frame your face so much. But I'm really into natural eyebrows. I don't like really precise, you know, kind of scouse brows. I'm just, I'm not into that personally for myself. So I try to follow my brows natural shape and just kind of fill them out, make them look more defined and a bit more groomed. That's why I'm loving the brow gels. Cause uh, yeah, I, I can't believe I never tried brow gel before. Sake, guys. The sound is As you can see from the contrast between the two eyes, my made up eye is a whole lot bigger looking. <laughs> so I'm gonna set all my makeup with the vitamin E spray mist from the body shop before moving on to that bird's nest on my head. So for my hair, I used a tangle teaser to brush it. I used some argan oil through the ends because my hair is so thick and it can get a bit drier on the ends and I like to use treatments all the time. I also used a heat defense spray by Dove. For the hairstyle, I simply took small sections of hair, straightened each section and then curled each section with a wand and this is how it turned out at the end. I straightened my fringe back also and I kind of pushed it a little forward and then pinned it into place so it was like a little bit of a quiff. And I know now the difference between the word quiff and queef. <laughs> Thanks to yous. <laughs> I wanted to keep my outfit kind of smart casual and also I wanted to wear something that would be flattering to an apple shape which is my body shape where I store any extra poundage around the middle and kind of on my arms. I went for some high rise super skinny jeans from Abercrombie and I paired those with a white blazer from Zara Basic. Also a kind of flowy baby blue top which is kind of tight on the top and real loose around the middle. Drawing attention away from you know love handles and all that stuff on my foot. I wore my new River Island sandals that I really really love. Do a little dance, make a little love. I accessorized with my pink clutch bag from the body shop. I wore a kind of rose gold necklace chain thing from H&M and this pairs really well with the eyeshadows that I chose. Also some little kind of baby blue earrings from H&M also. And yep, that's me done. So wish me luck guys and I'll see you in my next video. Please tweet me a picture of your like photo face or how you look when you're all done up at Melanie Tweets because I really want to get to know all my subscribers and yeah. Bye guys!